In Crestone, Colorado, we have no building codes. So this encourages a hotbed of innovation with respect to alternative technologies, natural building, and solar technologies. Uh, many of the homes here live off the grid in, this case, in the sense that they are living outside of the availability of utility electric power. So they are encouraged to provide their own electricity uh, with solar panels and provide their own heating requirements with passive solar and active solar applications. In addition to that, the building materials that the people use here are also very innovative. The various mater materials that people do use here is adobe, uh, rammed earth, straw bale, earth bags, uh, natural plasters, adobe floors. When designing a solar home, it's important to take into consideration the principles of heat transfer. But basically, to simplify it, there's three principles of heat transfer. The way heat moves is through conduction, through convection, and through radiation. Uh, take the first one, conduction. Take this straw bale wall as an example. Heat transfers through that solid wall by conduction. It goes from one piece of straw to the next. And this is a highly insulating wall with straw bales. I'll demonstrate the second one, convection, by looking up here at the solar panels. Water is pumped through there, and so through moving fluids, the heat is convected by moving fluids, the water getting hotter, and deposited downstairs in, under the floor uh, into the storage, uh, the thermal storage area. Uh, the third element of uh, heat transfer is radiation, and that's uh, the best way to illustrate that is to look at the sun and see the radiant rays coming down and hitting the black absorber plates under the glass, and they heat up, so that's radiation. The house that you see in the back here is composed of uh, rammed earth on the bottom story. Uh, it, the walls are 30 inches wide and it was rammed by hand into forms. And then the upper story, which you see in the area of the yellow door, uh, that's a straw bale wall covered with adobe plaster. So you have three different materials here. You have rammed earth on the bottom, you have straw bale walls on the top floor, the second floor, and you have the plaster coatings, which are natural adobe local materials. Straw bale building means that you're using straw bales to build your walls of your house in order to get a great insulating factor in the walls. Very simple to build. They stack one on top of the other and then you coat them with a adobe or cement plaster. There's two ways to make a straw bale wall. One is infill and one is load bearing. And what you use to put the earth, the dirt in the earth bags is misprinted rice bags. Every course you put uh, barbed wire or something, like a reinforcing thing. It's a poly woven bag so it doesn't start to run when you put the points of the barbed wire in it. That gives you some stability in the wall and you just pile up these one by one. It's very plastic, you can shape it any way you want. For more information on earth bags, check out our video. Adobe Earth Dome Project. Up next, the Thermal Solar Lowdown. Where does the water go? It's a tank, and then a stainless steel tank is inside of it. So that the potable water under pressure from the city water pressure uh, is on the inside, and the outside, that's like an annular ring on the outside, that's what receives the hot water that's coming down from the solar collectors down into the annular ring and heats passively through the, the stainless steel tank the potable water that's waiting for the next shower. To the floor of radiance. This whole adobe plaster wall has uh, radiant tubing in it that's equally served by the solar pump just like the radiant floor down below. With the orientation and the angle of the home, the overhang that we have will only allow the sun to come in in the summertime to those bamboo windowsills. And so then in the winter when the sun is coming in and it's lower in the sky, the sunlight is coming directly all the way back here. And I even need these carpets, which minimizes how warm the concrete gets, and I need it because it would get so hot in here that you would be greenhouse living instead of 70 degree comfortable living. Mm. <laughs>